All right, let's look at the scapular muscles. And actually this is uh, five or six, depending on how you count them, scapular muscles, and one muscle that um, goes from the thorax to the clavicle, right? But what's unique about these muscles is they do not cross the GH or the glenohumeral joint. So they do not do any major motion at the shoulder joint, meaning they do not flex your upper arm, extend, A, B, A, D, duct, or internally or externally rotate. They just go from the scapula or the clavicle to the thorax or to the ribs. Um, so we have the trapezius, serratus anterior, levator scapula, its uh, function is in its name, rhomboids major and minor, some people just call them the rhomboids, pectoralis minor, which really has nothing in common with the pectoralis major, except it is deep to it. And then we have the subclavius, which tells you exactly where it is. It is below the clavicle. So let's look in detail on these muscles. So the first one is the trapezius. It's a huge muscle, big diamond shaped muscle, superficial on your upper back region, and it has multiple functions. Um, and if you looked through the motions of the scapula, um, you'll have an idea. Um, its attachment points come from the occipital bone, so our skull, um, down the spinous processes to the mid-thoracic level, to the clavicle, and to the spine of the scapula. Um, and then, it, yeah, it's right here, the spine of the scapula and a little bit of that medial border. So it's very large. But you want to separate it into uh, upper fibers, middle fibers, and lower fibers just to get the functions right. Upper fibers extend the neck or the cervical spine and elevate the scapula. Middle fibers adduct or retract the scapula. The lower fibers depress the scapula. And then the upper and lower fibers together, as indicated with these black arrows, um, create upward rotation of the scapula. And they provide a kind of a force couple, which we'll talk about a little later. The neural innervation for the trapezius is the spinal accessory nerve. Again, previous, like our lower limb and upper limb neural um, innervations are usually easier. Um, when you get into the, the trunk region or the axial skeleton region, they're not as um, straightforward. Serratus anterior. This is a posterior view. Um, here's your scapula, and the serratus anterior comes from the medial border of the scapula, but on the anterior side, and wraps around the side of your mid portion to attach to the ribs. It is um, uh, the functions are upward rotation because when it pulls this lower part. Um, anteriorly, the glenoid fossa will go up, so it's upward rotation, and it also um, functions as an abductor or a protractor of the scapula. Neural innervation is long thoracic nerve. We're still on the posterior side, and we can see the levator scapula here coming off the superior angle of the scapula to uh, the cervical transverse processes. And it does what the name says. It elevates the scapula. Um, it also contributes to downward rotation because if you just create a force on this um, medial angle or the superior angle, um, the glenoid fossa will point down. Neural innervation is dorsal scapular nerve. Rhomboids, major and minor, we're going to put those together. They come from the spinous processes, the medial border of the scapula. They uh, create adduction or retraction of the scapula. The scapula moves toward the midline. And also due to their angulation here, they're angling somewhat upwards, they will contribute to downward rotation of the scapula. Neural innervation is dorsal scapula nerve similar to the levator scapula. Finally, when we if we move over to the anterior side, so here we can see our clavicle, um, our acromion process, um, coming off the coracoid process to ribs, 
three, four, and five is our pectoralis minor muscle. Um, it creates anterior tilt, which we didn't talk about too much. And more importantly, it creates a depression of the scapula or downward rotation. So downward rotation, depression of the scapula, and the, fun or the neural innervation is medial pectoral nerve. Final muscle also on the anterior side, right? So we can see our pectoralis minor right here, going to three ribs. And then right under from the, from the first rib to the inferior side of the clavicle is subclavius right here in green. Um, it is a clavicular depressure. De it creates clavicular depression. So it pulls that clavicle down and its neural innervation is the brachial plexus.